Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. I hope you're having yourself a great day. I'm doing okay today. Um, actually, I'm trying to do a bunch of videos. Um, I have a ton of stuff um, to share with you. I, it's just hard sometimes trying to decide what I want to put in each video because some things are part of other ones or they fit in with that. Um, so uh, this one is actually, uh, over the weekend, we had to take Jordan to go get school clothes and uh, while out, um, I obviously went to Long because uh, we were going to the mall, which we usually don't that much. And amazingly, we actually have a mall that still is very busy, um, which is surprising because a lot of uh, malls around us actually have closed. Um, there used to be a big one in one of the local cities, and uh, it's, it's been slow for a long time, and they eventually got rid of it. I think they already tore it down. And uh, we have one in town that is kind of a joke. It's attached to Lowe's and there's barely anything in it, but uh, it's actually owned by uh, one of the local grocery store chains and he just doesn't want to sell it. Um, so it just has like one or two uh, companies that are still within it. I think one of them's like a karate class or something, but uh, um, I haven't been in that one in forever. But uh, today, I want to just share with you some of the items I picked up. Um, we uh, found a bunch of, uh, luckily our local mall has a lounge fly. And surprisingly, it's even got some new stores. And uh, one of the stores is actually mini so. Uh, but I was uh, kind of disappointed with it. Uh, unfortunately, they still don't carry a lot of uh, figures that are either new or um, they're not allowed to be sold in the U.S., I'm assuming. Um, but uh, they had hardly anything new. There was barely anything that was uh, really Disney-related, um, more so like uh, Toy Story Aliens or Stitch or anything like that. I didn't see any figures. Um, it is a new store, but still, um, I wasn't that impressed. And either way, I still don't usually buy from that store because I can still get figures way cheaper on AliExpress. I know some of you don't like that app, but uh, I love it. Um, I use it all the time, and I've only had a few um, bad experiences. One recently, because I uh, there was a um, figure from um, SpongeBob that I wanted, but it was really expensive on eBay in the United States, and so I tried to order this one. And unfortunately, even after I asked for it to be well protected, it's banged up. So I got to ask for a refund or replacement. So anyways, I'll stop uh, rambling on. I just wanted to talk to you about a few things. I'm trying to do, eventually I will have videos every single day, either about things that are coming up, my life, or just, um, you know, unboxings and things like that. So uh, let's go ahead and see what I uh, got over the weekend. Alrighty, so here we go. As you can see, I have a ton of stuff on my desk, um, and this isn't even half of it. I was trying to figure out how I wanted to uh, share this stuff with you. I'm going to have to uh, uh, do a separate video. Some of these items will be also in a Stitch video. I have a bunch of new Stitch stuff. Um, I'm doing a video just of those, so you might see things twice. Um, we did go to Loungefly, which is at one of my um, local malls. So, I, funny enough, I put these in my cart online. And um, I, luckily, I went to the mall and found this. So, there was a bunch of these on sale. Uh, this one is for me. And uh, they were all on sale, actually. Uh, let's see. I'm going to show you all the stitch ones first. Uh, this is one of my favorite ones. Um, like I said, you can find these online. I believe they're still available. Um, they were on sale and they do match the price. So if you're in the in a store for Loungefly and uh, a physical store, you, they'll actually match the price. You just need to show them either a photo or uh, on the website itself. I, they also have an app that you can use, um, but they will match the prices. Um, so. That's a good thing. And then there is my favorite, Bing Bong from Inside Out. Um, I don't have a lot of things of his, but uh, I saw this pin and I'm like, I want that. So I got it. 
And uh, here's another Halloween um, pin that my wife liked. And then uh, these, this is a whole series of pastel ones. So there is mini and a pumpkin. And this is kind of like an old school drawn um, in 1950s, make you look like this in a actually a car dealership ad um, and so i've seen a similar um, style of him being used recently and there's pluto and another one of these pastels i think there was an addition uh, there were additional ones but they did not have them in the store um, that i wanted but these are really cute and uh, i had i made a post about these asking for these and unfortunately on their website you can't select which ones you want and so i happened to actually see these in store uh, i think they were two dollars and ninety cents or something like that um, sadly these were the only two that they had so i picked up these two so i still need the uh the other ones which i will show you all of them over here so uh, if anyone comes across these, uh, not these particular ones, but the other ones in the line, I would greatly appreciate if you're able to pick them up for me if you see them anywhere. Um, I heard that they're also at Dollar Stores or Dollar Tree. So um, I have not found them there. And I think I went to six different Dollar Trees um, in the area and in Florida, and I couldn't find them anywhere. So I'm not sure if they are there also. But... Um, uh, also, I happen to find these. I've collected these in the past, um, the metal figs um, that I found in the past, and um, I just happened to see the stitch ones. And there's, I was looking for other ones, but there's actually only two, as you can see. So I picked up both of these, and uh, I'm not taking them out of the package, but they're die cast um, figures, as you can see. And. Um, also, those were these were at Five Below, by the way. I went to several different stores. Um, let's see. This is also from Five Below. And uh, that has a bunch of cute pictures of Stitch. Um, I actually believe I already have this. Um, but I picked up another one just in case. But I'm pretty sure I already have it. So there is a Stitch coloring book. I find it humorous that it's called a Jumbo coloring book. Look at the size of this. That is not Jumbo. I have Jumbo coloring books. They're like an inch thick. Um, that is not Jumbo. And that's really sad if this is the case, what they think so. And see this, uh, there's a picture of Stitch on there. I almost forgot. Um, I'm going to show you without trying to trip over it. Um, also at um lounge flies store um oh, hold on i also picked up this figure which i've been trying to get for a while now um i saw it on sale on their website and i was going to order it but i didn't feel like paying shipping and then i found out i was actually going to the mall so i happened to actually get this it's a nice figure nicely it's a nice size i think it's like nine inches tall and it's heavy and uh this was the only one in the store so it has a little scuffing on the package but otherwise um it's great it's i've wanted this um i'll probably unbox it under the full stitch video so if you're looking to see it a little bit more closer and uh, make sure to check out my other videos but uh, i'm just showing you my haul of things i've gotten um it's it's really cute and uh I'm glad to finally have it, and um, like I said, I'm going to be showing these in the Stitch video separately, so make sure to check back. Um, I also found these Stitch figures. I found these at Walmart, actually, so this and this was at Walmart. Um, they often have these at five below, and I may have this one, but I got it just because I can't remember everything that I have. My short-term memory is horrible, so uh, I got to start. Uh, they do have apps for collectibles, but they charge past a certain amount, 
And I just, I don't know, I find it ridiculous to have to charge. So I probably should just make a simple spreadsheet. But I like the app because you can actually um, show images and stuff. Um, these were in a blind pack. Um, I already had this. I got this one in an old video long ago and uh, happened to pull this one again. This one stinks. I think it's, um, I thought it was like a coffee smell or something. But uh, unfortunately, we got a bunch of duplicates. We still, um, I still didn't get the stitch one, which I want. Um, these are Squishmallows um, Disney versions, and they have their own package um, that you can't see in, but you can see little holes underneath, and you can kind of smell what they are, but um, we still didn't get the stitch one, which is one I need, and I think only one other one that we need. Um, but they all have, they're all scented, and then there is Minnie Mouse. So they are super cute. And so I got all those. And then we have a store near us called Ollie's. It's kind of like a discount store where stuff that doesn't sell goes to the store. So uh, I found three books um, that I wouldn't normally buy um, that I think is so cute. I gotta get these labels off so they don't ruin the book. But it's kind of an animated story about Walt Disney for kids. And so there's a bunch of uh, it's like a comic book and it tells you all about Disney and such and uh, his coming about from being young into a uh, entrepreneur and the founder obviously of Walt Disney World and such and uh, so I haven't looked at it all yet but there is um, that one so you can check that out if you're looking here is the code on the back if you want to find it at another store um, but uh, I haven't read this yet I shall do so and um, I think I have this book but I got it again anyways um, it has a bunch of different stories uh, of Mickey Mouse and their gang there's all different stories and so I picked that up so I have that I even did a similar painting of this of um, Pluto and Mickey on the beach. Unfortunately, I have no idea what happened to the book. I mean the book. The painting. It's just gone. So, uh, yeah. Here is another one. I thought this one was cute, too. It's another one about Walt Disney. Only $3.99. And uh, it's an inspirational story about Walt Disney and the process of starting Disney and the animated cartoons and such. So I still got to check this one out. If you're interested in this one, you can find it by name, I guess. I don't see the... Oh, there it is. There's the barcode if you want to look up the number. Um, but that is the book. So glad I got that. And then there is this Halloween coloring book I got. And bunch of different pictures I just collect all these I have a ton of those and uh, one of the last things um, that I I'm not sure if I'm going to do a separate Spongebob video I do have a bunch of stuff to open by him but uh, here's something I got at five below it is a remote control car of Spongebob who uh, I don't think ever actually gets his license poor guy and uh, my middle-aged son who is now 22 I believe um, has license and never drives whatsoever. Um, he needs to get his butt out of my house and get a job. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so here's a remote control SpongeBob. Um, you basically can drive forward and then turn um, by going the different ways, left and right. I guess backwards or whatever. I'm not 100% certain. It's the boat mobile. But I just thought it was cute and had to get it. I think it was only $5. So yeah. Pretty sure that it was $5. So there you go. There's that. Um, and then a few more items I will share with you quickly. Is um, I found this at TJ Maxx. You can actually put a plant in it. And it has a drain tube in it. And uh, I had to get this. It's so cute. Um, I'm not sure if my wife's using this to actually put a plant in because I'd rather it not <laughs> be used but uh, I'm not certain but there's that that's from TJ Maxx and then 
I found this quite interesting toy. Um, I usually check all the aisles in the toy section, whether it's babies or not. And um, I found this interesting toy. I'm sure it's on. And then... So he, he just vibrates. You just basically bang it and then he shakes. And he says all different types of things. Way more, he says he says a lot more than the um, the stitch I have, the puppet I have, who barely says anything actual dialogue. He says more. This thing, which was uh, I think twenty dollars, um, talks more than the um, the other one. But uh, yeah, he just vibrates like crazy, and then he eventually turns off. Yeah, some reason my wife wanted to borrow this, but I don't know why. Bah, 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 bah. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> all right, so that's kind of it. I have a ton of other stuff too, but I didn't want to make a real long video. And uh, I just hope you enjoyed this quick preview. I just want to show you some stuff that's currently available. And uh, I will uh, catch you all in the next video. If you haven't already, please do subscribe thumbs up the video share with your friends and uh, I will catch you all in the mad I almost just said two different sentences let's try that again beep <laughs> I want to wish you all a magical day and I will catch you all in the next video bye bye